To stay updated with all of the latest Red Dead Redemption 2 news and much more, make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button to stay updated with all of the latest news for Red Dead Redemption 2. Step in front of a runaway train Just to feel alive again Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Red Dead 2 videos. My name is Dean. I am the owner and presenter with all of your Red Dead Redemption 2 information and all of the latest news for Red Dead 2. Today I will be talking to you guys about an open discussion and this is pretty much opinion based and it is also pretty much impossible to compare Grand Theft Auto 5 to Red Dead Redemption 2. But what I can say is we can also see a lot of changes in Red Dead Redemption 2 from how Grand Theft Auto played out. So what I will be talking about in this video are some of the things we saw in Grand Theft Auto 5 and particularly in GTA Online. Because GTA Online is pretty much Rockstar's focus and we know that because Rockstar games are consistently updating GTA Online with new content, they are bringing new DLC into GTA Online so pretty much they are still active with all of the GTA Online stuff. They have a lot of events going on in GTA Online as well. This does leave us with the question, is Rockstar Games ever going to do anything for Grand Theft Auto 5 single player? And this has been going on um, for nearly a year now. So a lot of people have been speculating whether if single player DLC will be coming to Grand Theft Auto 5. In my opinion, um, I really cannot see it happening. If it is going to happen, Rockstar Games are probably going to do it sometime after the release of Red Dead Redemption 2. That is just my opinion. Um, Rockstar Games have not yet uh, said anything else about single player DLC or an expansion for the single player. So in terms of Grand Theft Auto, how does this shape up or how will this compare to Red Dead Redemption 2? As I said, there is no way to compare Grand Theft Auto 5 to Red Dead Redemption 2. However, we can look at GTA Online and the success behind Grand Theft Auto Online, how Rockstar Games actually made GTA Online into one of the best multiplayer open world games, um, since Rockstar Games are still pretty much keeping the online aspect alive and well. We can see Rockstar Games put in a lot of sweat and tears into GTA Online. So how will this work for Red Dead Redemption 2? What are the things in Red Dead Redemption 2 that Rockstar Games will do differently compared to Grand Theft Auto Online? Are they going to aim for a fun new experience in Red Dead Redemption 2? Will they get some inspiration from GTA Online and probably bring in a lot of new cool uh, fresh ideas? Maybe some mini games for example, you know in GTA Online Rockstar introduced the stunt races. So obviously we can't do stunt races in Red Dead Redemption 2 um, because well that will be weird. Imagine on a horse, it, it just doesn't make sense. But what Rockstar can do, they could obviously make race tracks. Race tracks in Red Dead and horse racing will obviously suit the purpose of Red Dead Redemption 2 as it is sticking to the, the limits of what they can do for Red Dead 2. Because in Grand Theft Auto, Rockstar could be more creative since GTA Online was a mixture of futuristic and, you know, present day style. So that is how that worked. Surely there is only so much Rockstar can do for Red Dead 2. But like I said, it is going to be very interesting to see what kind of content Rockstar will come up with for Red Dead 2. Um, I am hoping they will you know, take full advantage of the multiplayer for Red Dead 2 and bring a whole different experience. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see for more information on Red Dead 2. But what are some of the things you guys would like to see differently done for Red Dead 2? I mean, for example, in the single player of Grand Theft Auto 5, we had three playable characters. Would this work for Red Dead Redemption 2? Um, can Red Dead Redemption 2 be a lot more better than Grand Theft Auto in a way? Even though, okay, they are both separate games, but still play that a similar style. Anyways, what do you guys gotta say about this? Make sure you guys do leave your thoughts on this topic down in the comment section below. I mean, personally, I think Red Dead Redemption 2 is gonna be a lot of fun. But I had so much fun on Grand Theft Auto and especially when Rockstar Games introduced all of the stunt races into GTA Online, it really did make the game more fun to play. Personally, I got bored of Grand Theft Auto Online um, after a while. I just didn't find, 
you know, more fun in the game. So I actually took a break off it and then I came back to it and Rockstar Games brought in the stunt races and here I am to this day still enjoying the races and even on your screen you guys can see I have gameplay of Grand Theft Auto 5 online um, playing some stunt races Rockstar Games added into the online. It is a lot of fun in my opinion. With that said guys make sure you do leave your say in the comment section below as this topic is really really interesting. With that said I do hope you guys enjoyed, please take this time to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and yeah I will see you guys in the next video.